Hi folks, this is Gold Teeth and today we're gonna talk about how to make gold extraction from gold platings more profitable. The challenge here is <coughs> that we want to um, reduce the cost of the process, so we want to make it cheaper. Uh, for that, we only use copper and nitric acid. Yes, uh, only th these two components the copper metal and the nitric acid to uh, remove foils uh, from our gold plates. We know that nowadays there is gold in mobile phones, um, in laptops, in televisions and um, in lots of stuff but nobody extracts gold from them because it's not profitable and um, if we reduce the cost of the process actually we can um, make some profit out of it profit yes uh, so before we go any further please make sure to like subscribe and give that notification button a go uh, first of all we need to prepare the surface we need to remove any components that is on the surface we basically uh, heat up the uh, circuits, the boards, and uh, the lead will melt down. Uh, with the melt uh, down lead, we can uh, remove any components that we have on the surface. The next is uh, to make an acid pool. The acid pool contains only nitric acid, but the time and the temperature we're going to talk about later. Uh, we need to filter out the gold foils from nitric acid. Uh, with filtered out golds from nitric acid, we will have um, plastics, uh, gold, and some other components. Uh, for removing those components, we need to add copper to our gold. Um, it will give us the copper uh, gold uh, alloy. And if we remove the copper from the gold uh, by the second acid pool, we'll have the pure gold, which uh, will be melted and uh, will be our pure gold. Okay, so where is this gold on the board? Uh, we know that our circuit boards are made of out of <coughs> made out of plastic. Uh, the plastic cannot be plated by gold, but it can be plated by copper uh, in the electrolysis process. So basically, we uh, first uh, have plastic, we plate copper on it, and on the copper we can plate some gold. So uh, you will see the gold on the surface and it is light yellow, so it will be really easy to um, notice to recognize um, so what uh, does our process will uh, and what does our process do um, it uh, will take the nitric acid the, the nitric acid will um, um, <coughs> will uh, take some actions with the nitric acid will action with copper the copper is plated beneath the gold so the beneath the gold is copper and it will be removed by the nitric acid so the plates of gold will float in our um, nitric acid uh, then we'll have gold and plastic and some other uh, components that nitric acid cannot solve we need to filter out those um, stuff and, and then we need to add copper uh, to the gold and plastic and other components so we will make copper uh, gold alloy the copper gold alloy will be like this that if you uh, put this in the acid pool you will uh, dissolve the copper and uh, the copper uh, is so um, 
uh, so much, you know, with the nitric acid, you know, it, the nitric acid really dissolves copper. And uh, you will have pure gold. The pure gold that you receive is brownish powder, will look like something like this. And if you melt down um, this brownish black powder, you will have yellow uh, and light <coughs> gold. I have to tell you um, um, from this process that in each step of this process, if you don't have the initial knowledge, you don't have uh, <coughs> the knowledge to know uh, what will screw you <laughs> uh, the gold can really vanish up to air you know and um, you will lose your investment you will lose um, the gold that you have so uh, don't do anything um, like this <laughs> at home without the knowledge um, but I will make uh, some more videos of each step and I will explain them completely but if you did the mistakes, it's on you, man. Uh, <clears throat> so watch out the channel. I will upload more videos. Thank you. Make sure to like and subscribe. That will mean a lot to me.